our MoCam group. This is the group that we meet on 3885 every morning. If you're up in the morning, the receiver there, you'll be amazed uh, how long, uh, how far you can hear on AM. But um, one of my buddies there, Mike, K0EZU, gave me this thing. And I'm going, what is that? He said, oh, it's how you get your antenna wire up over big trees. I said, well, I have a pair of 80-foot trees. We have tried everything. We did the bone arrows. We did the uh, cannons, the air cannons. I've done slingshots. Nah, I can get it up, but nah, I can't get that wire over the top of these trees. This thing is made by DT Systems. You can find it on Amazon. It comes with a big muff here, a, a, a furry muff, and it's made for people training dogs. And what they do is they this thing comes off of here and goes flying, and it's a big muff, and the dog picks it up and brings it back. Well, Mike says, why can't I do this? Tie a, we use a surveyor's string, light string, can't put a big rope on it, and take this spool and lay it out in the driveway. Now, this is something that a lot of people miss when they're trying to do these things. Took me many years before I saw this done right. I hope you can see this. There you will see the ball of, of twine, so to speak, but lay it out in a single row. Don't expect to pull it off of there. I had about 300 feet of this stuff up and down the driveway, and the end of it came in to this little vehicle that I showed you. So now when this little, little vehicle gets uh, ejected, <laughs> and it does get ejected from this guy. How does it do that? It does it with a 22. Yes, we're talking about rifle 22 powder load. It's what DeWalt and these people use for their, their loads for their guns to shoot nails. You put that in there. And you clank that play. I'm not going to do it in here just in case. <laughs> <laughs> but you Sarah do that. that. Sarah would kill you. Let, yeah, Sarah would not like this. <laughs> no. Let me make sure it's not in there. And you take this little guy right here. Make sure you have your ear protection on. And make Bang. sure that the string is away from you. You're not standing on top of it. And when you pull <laughs> this down and you let it go, uh, the neighbors thought I was out on Sarah's shooting range, really. A couple of them came over. I mean, it is amazing. That thing went, not kidding you, at least 150 to 200 feet high. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you some pictures real quick. Uh, we got some things set up. So, Victor, let's see that first slide. There's that 80-foot tree. I've never been over get, to get over the top of that darn thing. Well, here's what, here's what happened. We loaded this all up, as you see. Make sure you get it tied on right, or you might be finding that in the next county. Oh, we removed the pink, the pink uh, muff, and... Uh, Mike put some really heavy, I mean, this is probably number four wire, and he put that on there to make this heavier and just work beautiful. There it is pulled apart, and there you can see where I put the bullet in the center. Now, that one had already spilled. I didn't want to have any dangers here. <laughs> that one's already spent. But it opens up like that. You close it all back together. And you get outside and get ready to go. When you pull that down and let her go, you better have it pointed where you want it to go. And it better be high in the air because that's where it's going. It's just hard to see. I hope you can see it. But here's the string, the orange. And it went, well, it went at least 100 foot over the top of the tree. And then it sailed back down the other side. 
and it was just super. When I went to the other side, this is what I saw. It had landed way out beyond the tree, but the string laid right down. And when I went hunting at the, for the, uh, the end of it, why, uh, it was on the ground. And then I pulled up the proper coax and um, pulled the antenna. Then I did it to the other because I got another 80 footer on the other end. I could never get it up more than about 40 or 50 feet to end up in the middle of that tree. But I got them this time, let me tell you. In fact, I did, I did two extras, so I got spares up there. But if you're looking to launch a wire for your antenna, coax. This is it. And I use, I use a uh, Dacron rope, five eights, and that's a messenger line that I use to, to wire tie my antennas to. And I, I don't let the coax do it. Uh, I don't, I don't believe in that pulling on the ends of the coax uh, on dipoles. What I do is I run a messenger line from tree to tree, point to point. And from those two points, then I can wire tie with really good plastic wire ties, good stuff, and you attach that to the rope. Then there's really nothing sagging and relying on the weight of the coax. It really works great. And um, I'm really excited because uh, this is my Omni antenna for 75. Yes, I have all the others up the uh, phased arrays, but the coaxial dipole, is, this one's all, gosh, it's 500 feet away from all of those guys. But it, I had these two trees, and I've been wanting to get something way up there. And guess what? I got on last night. I couldn't wait to get on, of course. And, it, yeah, this signal is better, and I'm so thrilled. So I just had to share this with you guys and girls. Go look it up, DT Systems. I know nothing about them. And thanks to Mike, he's at you. He, uh, one of our morning group, loaned this to me, and, I got to send it back to him, but I did look it up. Uh, W5FFK, he, uh, he's another one of our guys. He looked it up for me and uh, told me uh, yesterday, he said, hey, it's on Amazon, because we didn't know the name of it. We didn't know what it was. It's just a thing. And then we found out it's a dog launcher. So there you go. You want to train your dog, you can do that. But uh, why does it work for putting up antennas? Oh my gosh, there you go, right there. I love it, Victor. There it is. You can see on the right that white muff and that they have them in all different colors also.